afternoon everybody, what is going on? Today, we are in for another real user review and we are going to take a look at three different products from Sure. Yes, you might remember them from my 3T35K tabletop tripod review, which is why they reached out to me. They said, we like what you did. Would you like to take a look at anything else that we make? And I said, sure, whatever you're interested in letting me see, I will be more than happy to put my paws on, test it out, see what I think. So. Bear with me now because uh, I'm not gonna remember these model names, so um, I made a cheat sheet. They sent me the four-piece cell phone kit, which is the WPFM-01K. They sent me an iPhone 10 case. This has a little detachable lens. Pretty nice, huh? Huh? Yeah. This is the DLIPXR for an iPhone 10 or iPhone X, however you want to go with it. And they sent me a collapsible T005SR tripod. Now they also sent me a really nice uh, cell phone clamp because this is a bit of a thinner tripod. So they sent me this to use with the cell phone kit. Although um, I, did, I did use it to hold my cell phone, but I didn't actually end up using this with my cell phone. I use this with my actual camera for work. We'll get into this a little bit later, but uh, even though this probably isn't meant to be a professional tripod, I've been using it for my professional day-to-day -day nine to five job, and it's been a champion. And I'll tell you why I really like this over the uh, New Year tripod that I was using for work. But we're gonna start with the cell phone case. Now, the... Uh, texture of this is super, super nice. It's very rubbery. It fits very, very good in the hand. Now it does fit in the pocket even with the lens on it. Although um, on your day to day, you're probably not gonna have it attached, but it does have this little lip on either side that fits directly into the case you could see right here. So it slides right in there and spins and I don't know if you can hear that or not. There's a little click so you know it securely locks into place and it's on there. It's not gonna fall off, it's not going anywhere. So it's very convenient to go ahead and slide and lock directly on. Now, while the case itself is very good in the hand, actually gives you a really good grip, the, uh, the negative is the fact that it's super grippy. So when you're taking it in and out of your pocket, it, uh, it takes your pocket out of your pants with the phone case. So pretty much every single time you put this in your pocket and you go to take it out, your pocket comes inside out. Now you have to restuff your pocket back inside your pants. This happens with every single shorts, jeans combination. I've tried it with every time. So that is a negative, but once it's in your hand, it's, it's really good. It gives you a good grip on the phone. So if you wanna go wide angle, if you're gonna use your phone, to record YouTube videos, to do a vlog, to do travel videos, anything like that. You're actually gonna have a pretty good grip on it if you're not using a cell phone gimbal. So it does actually uh, work as a, a positive and a negative because it gives you that really good grip on the phone. It's very comfortable in the hand, but it does pull your pocket out every single time. Now, one thing that I hate with uh, cell phone cases is, at least with my iPhone 10, is the volume up and down buttons. And you, usually not so much with the, uh, the, I guess it's the power button, I don't know what you want to call this, this other side button, but usually the volume buttons, the, uh, the cases, they never seem to work really well. You always gotta like really press hard and these are not the case. It's not perfect. And can't leave home without. So the case actually works with the volume up and down buttons. They usually stick in cell phone cases as well as the, uh, the ringer mute, unmute button. Uh, it's usually sometimes a pain in the ass to get to, but with this case, I can I can hit the button. And one of the problems I almost always get with a cell phone case is the ringer on off button. It always ends up sliding on or off, and I generally keep mine on mute all the time. But this, I've actually, don't think I've ever had it flip to ring mode. So all of the features of the phone are totally accessible and it does come off very easily. It's I'm trying to do this without really looking at the phone and trying to look at the camera not working so well, but it does have a nice like felt inside. So it's not really scuffing up your phone at all. You know, you get that little ring around the Apple just because the open, but 
it doesn't scratch up the back of my phone at all. It pops back in very easily. The only rigid part of this entire case is this piece right here. It's a plastic inlay. That's the receiver for the lens. So the uh, DLIPXR phone case, really, really like this thing. I'm guessing the XR is for the iPhone XX. Uh, I'm sure the other versions work just as well, but I'm very stoked. Now for the lens, the lens is really nice. It did give me some really good wide angle shots. Uh, I could vlog with this. The wide angle is super useful for cell phone vlogging because now I can use the forward facing camera and I don't have to worry about whether or not I'm in frame because pretty much everything's going to be in frame. Although cell phone vlogging could really benefit from a, uh, an attachable microphone because my audio is probably terrible right now. Also loud because of the geese. And the uh, benefit is that this case does work with these lenses. So you can leave this case on with these lenses. So we're gonna go ahead and move into the four piece cell phone lens kit now. And as you can see, it is a branded Suray case. It does come with a little carabiner clip. So if you wanna clip it to the outside of your bag and it has a nice also branded Suray pull tab. The size of the case itself is actually pretty small. I generally keep this in my backpack all the time because you never know when you're gonna need it. And once you open it up, you do have a little uh, zipper pocket here with an extra lens case, case, lens cover that it came with. You could probably fit a few small things in there, but it does have a little bit negative space because the lenses themselves, as you can see, they stick up a bit. So you can't put too much in there. I thought I could fit a battery bank there in my original uh, first impressions video, but the lenses themselves stick up. So it takes up a lot of that inside space. Now the clamp, the clamp is the most genius part of this kit because yeah, every single cell phone lens that I've used, you have to screw it onto the clamp. So if you do have say this clamp on the phone, I now have to unscrew the lens and that's gonna make it move around and everything. Not to say that this one's not gonna move around, but let's see if we have, I don't know if you could see it, but there are little, little arms that stick out that go with the actual case. Now, let's see if we can hear this. That's how you know it's in there nice and secure. You can take it right back off very easy you don't have to worry about screwing unscrewing it and then taking the whole lens and messing the whole thing up you can see right through the lens so if you have to readjust it it's perfect now there are two negatives with this clamp the first one i'm noticing is that it doesn't uh, recognize my face all the time sometimes the hat might get in the way the clamp itself is not in front of the forward facing camera but i think it obscures it just enough that i can't unlock my phone so i'm going to have to use the code to unlock my phone. Now the other negative is the uh, the default, I'm pretty sure I've not changed this since I've had an iPhone. I'm pretty sure the default for the camera is this top corner here, which is right where the clamp has to go to be over the lens. So if you're like me and you haven't moved the camera around since you've got your phone, turn the camera on before you open the app just to make it a little bit easier on yourself. And that's really it. That, that's the two negatives is that it kind of obscures the forward facing lens so I can't unlock it and it kind of blocks the camera app. But once you actually have the lens on, it works really good. And the thing I really like is that if I just kind of barely pinch it, I can take the lens off without the clamp itself moving and I can easy, if I had one prepped and not stuffed in the foam, I can easily go ahead. Now I went and changed lenses without the whole clamp adjusting and now I'm not trying to figure it out and, and resetting it so I'm not getting that vignetting because you're seeing the edges of the camera. It goes on and off very, very easily which I love because I have used plenty of other cell phone lens kits and then you're unscrewing it. When you unscrew it, this clamp gets all messed up. And then you're trying to recenter it and then you gotta screw the other lens on and then it gets messed up again. Then you try to look down the lens to see the camera lens and then it's a hassle. This, I don't have to deal with that because this really, really nice, it just clips right into place, ready to go. So now about the actual lenses that it comes with. Now this kit came with a wide angle lens, a portrait lens, if 
I can get it out. <sighs> a macro lens. Oh, this is the fisheye. It came with a fisheye lens and it came with a macro lens. Now I've used all of these and uh, they all work great. The glass itself in each of the lenses is really nice. It's high quality. So you don't really have to worry about you know, buying, spending the $200 that it, this thing costs because the glass itself is going to work. Now, if you want to look at cost per lens, you can get a moment lens that's going to cost you $200, $250 for one cell phone lens, or you can get an entire kit for $200. Now, this also came with a filter, a variable filter here. It's really funny too. I'm looking at the monitor through the filter and I can see it changing. It's really cool. This works with the, uh, the wide angle lens if I grab the correct lens. Now the way this thing works, there's actually two little flat spots on either side of the wide angle lens. And if you look at this closely, there's two little corresponding flat spots. So you just slide it right over and just like any other variable in D, it slides around, it spins in a circle, so you can set your filter to how you want it, and it just slides right back off. So other filters that I've used with cell phone lens, again, they had to screw on to the actual filter, which then will mess up the lens while it's on. So if I have this lens on, and I needed to screw this filter on, it's gonna move the entire lens. It's gonna mess everything else up. This way, I just, slide it on, now my filter's on. I didn't have to mess it up and then I'm gonna sit here again. Gotta line the whole thing back up. So just the ease of use of this thing, awesome. So the ease of use is great with these things. Well, how do the lenses actually work? Very well, I've actually been using these on many an occasion. Here's a, a few examples of uh, me using this in the field and actually what it looked like when I was done. Take a look. I was very satisfied with all of the photos and video clips that I got. So you can go from anything from taking pictures, taking portrait, wide angles, macros, you can get a lot of stuff. This kit is, uh, it's well worth the price. And just like every other Siri product I've used, it's, uh, it's been holding up just fine. For a point of reference, I just got co a comment on this video. I keep referring back to my 3T35K tabletop tripod, but I've made that video over two years ago and I used that tripod for four to six months before I filmed that video and it is still kicking. I can still use that every single day. So you don't have to worry about Sure being this fly-by-night company. They actually, they've been around for quite a while. I've been using their products for quite a while. I actually liked that tripod so much, I bought one, gifted it to a friend, bought one for work so I can get some really low shots because um, sometimes a tripod full-size tripod, even though you can flip it upside down when you're using a, uh, a pro-grade actual camera instead of a DSLR, to hang it upside down, that doesn't work. I do use a Panasonic prosumer camera a lot and I use that Surik tabletop tripod to get some nice low shots if I'm not using a gimbal or anything. So uh, it works great with DSLRs, mirrorless cameras, all the way up to prosumer cameras and probably a little beyond. But we're gonna go ahead and switch gears into the tripod now. This thing, the reason I am uh, kind of in love with this tripod right now, and it's it's pretty evident from just looking at it, is the footprint on this thing. It's so small. I love this thing. Now, if you use a tripod for YouTube videos, if you use a tripod professionally, you know that sometimes these things can be bulky, they can be cumbersome. Now, yes, the legs are a bit thin. They're not locked, so it's wobbly, but these legs are a bit thin. So over you know a year or two use, daily professional, it might start to um, 
not work so well, but I've been using this now. I believe I got this kit close to two months ago and I've, I've lost count of how many times I've used this on like actual work shoots. That's predominantly what I've been using this for. Again, they sent it to me to use with the cell phone kit, but I found this thing to be so great because I use a Lowepro ProTactic 450AW Gen 1 bag for work. And uh, generally I have to take my new ear tripod and I have to clamp this a little off center on the back so it's not in the way of using the side flaps because it does sway back and forth. But this thing actually fits right inside the bottle holder so I can put this on the side of my bag. I've also tried this with my Water Prevoke 31 liter and again, it fits directly into the side bottle sleeve of that bag, no problem. It straps right to the side of the bag. It's like, I don't wanna say half the size, but it is considerably smaller than a professional grade daily tripod. I'm not talking about like a studio tripod, like not a big man Frodo with a fluid head. Pretty much the same thing in a, uh, a larger format that does the same exact thing. Yes, the legs on it might be a little beefier, but these things so far have not let me down at all. And just the sheer size is great. The other thing I really love is usually this either comes with that little, that clip that that has like a little retractable spring loaded into it that's usually got a plastic base. Those things unscrew, they fall out all the time. This is actually in, it's locked in there. It, I, it's some sort of cotter pin or some sort. It doesn't come out, so you don't have to worry about it coming out. And this is actually a machined aluminum carabiner. So if you need to hang a weight there to keep the tripod balanced, you don't have to worry about this pulling out because I have had that happen on the tripods where that little plastic piece that the metal clip screws into, it fails and it falls out and then your weight is pretty much useless. Now beyond that, this is all aluminum. Even these legs, these are all aluminum. The only plastic parts are the, uh, the twisties to loosen it, which I like that I can get it all in one hand. Now, this is the part I really love about this thing too, is the leg locks are spring loaded. So they do lock themselves in, but now wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah. It automatically re-engages once you've hit the foldable point. Now, if you've seen some of my other tripod reviews, there's been one or two other tripods that have a similar button that doesn't, that locks out system, but this is just so smooth. It will automatically re-engage once it's fully up. So now when I unfold it again, it's re-engaged and I can just manually drop it. If I want to lock the legs into a wider stance, I can manually lock them in, but I don't have to hold the button to collapse the legs. I hate that. When you're, especially when you're in a hurry, when you had a long day, you want to get done, you're holding that button and half the time, you release it too soon and then I got to manually do it to show you this happens. You're trying to fold it and then it just locks up on you and it just keeps lock. Doesn't happen. One press, folds up and it's automatically re-engaged for the next time you want to use it. These are awesome. I absolutely love this. And The clicking sound, oddly satisfying. How does the head work? Well, it's a little smaller, but that helps for the compact size of it, but it's pretty fluid. It spins easily. I don't have to force that spin. It's got enough resistance that I don't, it's not gonna just spin on its own, but it does move with just a little bit of force, which is great because you don't want it to just spin on you if you just unlock 360 head, but you wanna have that little bit of force so you get a nice smooth pan. Also the ball head spins and drops down so you can get that straight down shot or if you're doing your tripod sideways, you can get that, that profile portrait picture if you wanna do landscape. Everything locks back in place nicely, it doesn't spin. The one other thing I like is that, uh, my table is totally not even, is it does raise up so you do have some expansion. I like that it expands up because this cuff right here, sometimes from the tripod bouncing around in and out of your bag, on the outside of your bag, this cuff will come loose and then you go to set it up and 
you put the camera weight on, the camera just drops into the base because they come out the bottom. This, it comes up to get your extra height, so you don't have to worry about that. I've had that happen on more than one occasion. Now, I have been using this with a Sony A7S Mark II with a variety of different G Master and Zeiss lenses. Yeah, it hasn't, it hasn't failed at all. I've been using this again for at least two months. I'm definitely a little later doing this review than I wanted to, which actually works out because I got to test all of this gear for pretty much an additional month. I generally test things for about a month and I'm not gentle on these things. I throw stuff around. I, uh, I make sure it's gonna withstand a beating because why should you waste your money on something that's just gonna break after a couple weeks or a month? Now the price point, the cell phone case with the lens is about 30 US dollars for the iPhone 10 version. This whole cell phone kit where you get the wide angle width filter, the macro lens, the portrait lens, and the fisheye lens is $200. Uh, so again, if you wanna look at it as cell phone lenses, sure, you can get a lot of stuff a lot cheaper on Amazon, but it's, it's crap. I've bought a kit before that was like 30 bucks for a cell phone lens. It was a wide angle that you then screwed a piece on and then it became a, a telephoto or a portrait lens and the quality of your picture sucks. So, you know, you're spending like, I don't know how much an iPhone 10 costs now, but like I make monthly payments on this thing. This is like a thousand dollars and the, the, the camera on these cell phones is a lot better now than they were even two years ago. So you've got this pretty decent camera inside your phone why are you gonna go put a piece of crappy $30 glass on top of that? You're not gonna get a better picture. You might get a little bit more in your frame or you might get a little more zoom, but you're not gonna get a better picture. With these lenses, the glass is great. It's top notch, it's professional quality glass. So you're actually going to get a good image out of the photo as opposed to just getting a little more frame or a little more zoom. You're gonna get a good photo as well. Now. The tripod, again, they sent me this to use with the cell phone kit. And uh, as far as that went for me is I, I, I put the cell phone in the clamp, which the clamp was really, really nice. I really like the clamp. It's got an oddly satisfying, like you press the button and it slides open. It's really, really nice. But I didn't actually use it that much because I like the size of this so much that this has pretty much been my go-to tripod in my professional camera bag whether or not this is going to last me beating the hell out of it for another year or two, I honestly think it will. I mean, even though the legs on the bottom are kind of thin, they're, that actually hurt. They're aluminum, they're solid. The only downside is the feet don't have the spikes that unscrew. So if you're using it on like a grassy area, you're definitely gonna wanna use a little bit of weight to hold it down, uh, but, on the other side is the one thing that always freaked me out about traveling with the tripod in my camera bag on an airplane is I got these three spikes sticking out the bottom and I was always afraid going through security, they're gonna hassle me or confiscate the tripod. Now the best case scenario is they just take the tripod and send me on my way. The worst case scenario is they hold me for questioning because I have three little spikes on the bottom of my tripod don't have that problem here. So if I were to uh, hop on an airplane tomorrow for work, I, uh, I wouldn't be afraid to take this on the plane. The weight of it, it's, uh, it's a little heavier than some of the other tripods that I usually use, but I've been using carbon fiber. Uh, this is aluminum, but to be honest, it's not that much heavier. Uh, because the ball head itself is a little smaller, that really helps to even out the weight because even the carbon fiber tripods that I use, the ball head is aluminum and it's bigger than this. So that really kind of evens out the weight. It's a tad bit heavier, but honestly, once this is in the bag on my back, I don't notice it. So overall, I have not had a bad product from Sure, and yes, they told me how to pronounce the name. It is Sure. I was pronouncing it Sir Yui. That is wrong. It is Sure. They even sent me a nifty little hat to remind me. I would recommend any of this stuff if you are looking into getting any of these products. There are links down below for you to go ahead and look at more of the specs. Also a link to the Sure US sites. So you can go ahead and see a little bit more about them, more products that they make. But if you are looking for the cell phone case, the cell phone lens kits, I love 
this clamp, it is just, oh, it just, it's awesome. I mean, if you look at it, you can line it up easily, but if you're just trying to look at a camera, it makes things a little bit harder. Or the, uh, this is a long model number. The T005SR tripod, any of these products, I think you'll be 100% satisfied with. Do not worry about pulling the trigger or spending your hard earned money on these products. They're working great for me. I think they will work great for you. If you like this video or another video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications the next time I post a brand new video. Good night. Slide it on. Now my filter's on. I didn't have to mess it up and then I'm gonna sit here again. Gotta line the whole thing back up. So.